Hello, Hi. welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we would like to talk about relationships between Western men and Asian women. Uh, in particular, uh, busting down a few myths and um, stereotypes of uh, what, what Western men think about Asian women. Uh, now, Shaman and I have been married for two, two, year. two years now. Two years this month. And we've known each other for five, yeah, five, five years. years. Um, so, you know, we had a three year relationship before we became married and now we have a child and um, Shaman, Shaman is from Cambodia yeah. and I'm from Australia. Now, I'm older than Shaman, she's younger and I met Shaman when I was traveling through Asia, particularly through Cambodia. Now, so that, that fulfills one of the main stereotypes is the Western guy goes over there, finds a cute young Asian girl and falls in love and, and, and you know, that, that goes down the path of, um, uh, a lot of guys think there's a lot of problems there. Like number one, they think the Asian girl is gonna take all your money. But let's talk about that for starters. Mm -hmm. um, so that's true, right? A lot of Western guys, they think that Asian women are gonna take their money. They just, they just, they, they just wanna get a Western man to get the money, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, for starters, I don't have any money, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm a man of meager means. Um, I, I sell my, my art as one of the ways I make a living and therefore I'm a, a struggling artist by definition of, of mm. trade. Um, now, so Shaman didn't, didn't hook up with me for the money and I made it very clear from day one that I didn't have um, a lot of money and uh, that if that's, if that's what she was looking for then she found the wrong, the wrong guy. Yeah. Um, number two, um, you know, I went, the first thing I did when I flew over to Cambodia to meet Shaman, um, officially like on a date, um, because I met her on a trip and then I, I departed, then I, then we started chatting online, then I flew back to sort of have a date. The first thing I did was um, go to see your mum, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, so I said, look, I'm, I'm going to come back to Cambodia from uh, Australia and I'd like to go and see your mum and just chat with her and, and, and see if it's all okay that we sort of... Um, have a relationship because Shaman's father had had already passed away mm. several years earlier, and um, so that was that was important for me was to do things properly, and so look, we, we've had a great relationship, and but one of the reasons we have had a great relationship is because um, Shaman I didn't meet her in uh, one of the the pub streets or the the dancing streets or the red light districts. She was. Uh, working in, as, a, as a waitress in one of the uh, a nice hotel that I was staying at. Um, I did some research, we became friends on Facebook and I did some, sort of looked at her profile on Facebook and I figured out she was a good Buddhist girl. She went to temple and then when I went and chatted with her mom, I could see her family environment and I could see what kind of girl she was. Um, she wasn't a working girl, wasn't a pub street girl, um, not, wasn't a red light uh, district girl. Now that's a big mistake that a lot of guys make when they go to Asia is they fall in love with one of the, the bar girls um, and you know you've got to ask yourself would, would you go to a, uh, a strip club in in your home city where you live in a western country and and fall in love with one of the girls one of the mm. one of the stripping girls at the strip club you wouldn't do that or you'd be very very skeptical yeah. um, so so that's the first thing not all Asian women are after your money. They're not all looking for your money. Some of them just want to find a nice guy who treats them well. Um, but look, a lot of the YouTube channels that I so. that, that I see that YouTube suggests to me are channels where these Asian go uh, sorry these Western guys are traveling through Asia and they're having a good time. Okay, they're they're mm -hmm. disrespecting the Asian community. They're disrespecting um, Asian culture, mm -hmm. in particular Asian women. Bye. <laughs> So you, we oh, recorded, yeah. 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 Okay. We found a new, we found a new friend. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, do you know? If I know my I, my husband a good man, do you know I'll take time to learn. When he, when my husband come back to Cambodia to see me one more time, and my husband tell me, can I go to see your family? I said, oh my god, really? My, it's the first man to ask me to see my family. And mm. I'm really, really happy about this. And I said, that's fine. And when my husband arrived to Cambodia, and, and then I, I bring my husband go to see my mom because I, 
I live in another uh, province. I'm working in Simbi, mm. but I, I live in another, uh, my mom lives in another province. Six hours on the bus? Yes, yeah, six hours on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same in Australia. In Australia, more fast than the road. Six hours on the bus, and the hotel I, we stayed in when I arrived, had, I got no sleep. <laughs> so I met mum with black under my eyes, no sleep. Yeah. So, you know, in Cambodia, when you ask, like, if you like to see your family like that, if you feel so warm, because you like to see all your family, all my family. And number two, my family, they like to see my my husband too. If a boyfriend. Boyfriend. Girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. My, yeah. They like to see them too. And when they, when we we'll come to arrive at home, my mom, she tell me, you tell me he older than you, but I look, he's not so old. And and then my mom, she asked with my sister. My sister, she speak English, and then she asked her, and my sister asked Will, what you doing in Australia, what you work, how much you make money, did you have wife before, did you have your kids before, many things. Because my mom, she worries so much about... about yeah. I got the 20 time. questions from the, uh, the oldest sister who spoke some English. Yeah. I think I, <laughs> I think I passed most of the questions, most of the tests. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they want they want to know they want to know about you the same way they want to know about me what I'm doing yeah e everything the same so my mum my mum asked me and then she she feel okay he he a good man he's not a bad man I like think and she said okay good good but she just thinking thinking and she worries so much about me and but she, she feel better than, than nothing. It's my idea, but you first come to Asia or say my country. I, I hear many people tell me about, say my husband, he tell me, you know, many friends for say, well, many Asian people, they like money. They don't love, they just like to take money, take money, they keep it. Mm. And I want to improve, for to Western guide, Western people, take time to learn about when you go to another country. You take time to learn about the culture, and mm. you take time about to learn from the people. Mm. Don't listen to all the people. Uh, the people say, "Oh, you know, this country they like just money." Asian people they love money. They don't. They don't care about love. It's not like that. Mm. Maybe you found two, three people like this, but then you say every Asian people like this. It's not. Mm. And you, you can take time learning. Learn to together. Learn from people, the culture from Asian people like mine. I came from Cambodia. So my husband, he took time, long time to learn about me. I take time, long time to learn about my husband. I've already too. Some Western people, they have bad thing too. They take they married with Asia wife and then they bring her come to live with them, with them. And then they sometimes are so, they said them, they said um, the wife to work in the website. Human trafficking. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. I worry too because I saw that on YouTube, on video. So I think I worry too in myself, but I'll take time to learn it. Mm. I think it's not everyone bad. Mm. It's just take time to learn. You just, I have 100% Western people that say Asian people that like money, that don't care about love. I'm not, uh, I disagree with that. Mm. Because you, you know, it's not everyone like this. You must take time to learn, to live together, have a, mm. it's, I, I feel I'm so, so upset, you know, when I hear like Asian people like money, they don't care about love, I'm so upset, you know. And the other thing that I wanted to say, which is really upsets me, is the way that um, a lot mm. of Western guys, they go to Asia and they disrespect the culture. Now, mm. I've seen this time and time again, and all you have to do is, um, you, you see it like, uh, I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, you know, Western guys just sitting in a, sitting in the pub street, with their tattoos all showing and the, and the singlet on, and they're on holiday. But and you're showing your tattoos and you're getting drunk. I mean, for starters, part of the 
Buddhist um, philosophy is you never never get drunk in public I mean that's it, it, it's really frowned upon so when you're sitting there as a Western guy getting drunk on cheap beers and then falling on the floor in the mm. in the main street that's the, the the locals are really looking looking on you as a stupid Western tourist okay yeah. you really need to understand that that's it's not on um, you can get drunk in your hotel uh, by the pool or whatever you want to do but when you're out in public and you're getting drunk um, it's uh, and, and if you're doing drugs as well it's really really looked down upon by the locals now they'll, they'll never say that to you but mm -hmm. that's what they're thinking um, so um, I don't I, I never get drunk um, I'll have a couple of beers and go for a walk take some photos whatever I want to do but I, I never get drunk anyway um, but mm -hmm. I, just uh, when you're over there have some common sense and realize that you're in, you're in a conservative country when you're in Asia or Southeast Asia in particular mm, yeah. Particularly around Cambodia, around Angkor Wat, and uh, around Siem Reap, where the temples are, that's that's there's a lot of religion there. Okay, there's a lot of ancient Buddhist, uh, Buddhist uh, religion and and Hinduism there. So just tread lightly. You're in someone mm. else's country. It's not a party town. Okay, um, even if you are in a in a bar in the in a pub street or in the main red light street, mm. you're still in a conservative country. So have some respect. And you know when you go to to someone's house take off your shoes when you walk in uh, and and cover your legs and cover your mm. arms these are things that the Buddhist society value um, don't touch people on the head and and and, and uh, respect your elders and 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 just basic things I mean I see I see a lot of disrespect by Western guys and you know when I travel on my own and I'm doing a photo tour through <laughs> Asia I get treated the same way. I get people looking at me like, "Oh, he's a sex tourist because he's he's middle-aged, he's over 40, he's in he's in Asia, he's a sex tourist," mm -hmm. um, and that's upsetting to me. But that reputation has been earned time and time again by Western guys doing the wrong thing mm -hmm. in Asia. Okay, um, and that brings me on to that point. Don't be a sex tourist. Don't go to the um, the brothels and the the uh, massage parlors and all that. Um, I've had massages there, but they've been massages, and you know, sometimes they like to do a happy ending, and I'll say, no, no I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, no full service. Just enjoy the massage and move on your way, and um, don't just don't don't partake and contribute to the reputation of middle-aged Western men going to Asia and treating it like a, a sex tour. It's really, really, really poor form. Okay. <laughs> So another way that you can uh, determine if you have a good girl or a, a girl who wants your money is um, don't give the girl money to start with. Uh, mm. You know, I didn't give you any money no. uh, when we were courting. Yeah. Um, uh, and Shaman was in a difficult financial situation and it was, I could have assisted, but I didn't. And um, that was part of me screening to see, you know, if she, if she keeps asking me for money, then I know I've got one of these girls who wants yeah. who wants your cash, and I yeah. didn't. She she never asked. Um, might have been a couple of times, or a couple of small things, but like paying the power bill or something yeah. once, I think it was. But it was it wasn't like she was asking for money. So you've got to um, put that screening process in place. Uh, mm -hmm. If you if you hook up with a girl and then she says, "Hey, can you just give me fifty dollars every every month to um, mm -hmm. help help my mom?" You know, um, then be suspicious. Uh, you, you may have the wrong girl yeah. so um, yeah that's one of the other ways to to mm -hmm. screen for a good girl so the other thing I'd like to recommend for you guys you you Western guys who are going to Asia and maybe you're interested in finding a partner over there is don't just st stick to the cities um, try to get out of the cities and away for, from all the touristy areas and go to the country uh, the countryside <laughs> um, you know it's one of the best things you can do particularly if you're looking for a good girl um, you, the chances of finding a good girl are greatly higher in the countryside okay um, you know one of the best experiences I had when I was when I was in Vietnam and I was in Ho Chi Minh City and it was, it was just full of tourists and I could see all the tourist scams everywhere happening and people trying to and look I got scammed and I got really sick of it and I just jumped on a bus just a um, a uh, public bus and I went south to the next city and then I jumped on another bus there and I went south again to the Mekong Delta and I, I just picked the city on Google Maps on my phone and just went there and mm -hmm. 
It was one of the best things I did, and I happened to meet good people there, really good people. I remember going to the town square. Excuse the dog here. <laughs> I remember going to the town square in a, a uh, remote country city called Bac Lau, Bac Lau, I think it's called, in southern Vietnam. And I was the only Western guy that a lot of these um, people had seen in there. And they said, what are you, what are you doing here? Why do you, why did you come here? I said, oh, I just, I just found it on Google Maps and I decided to come here. And um, I had some amazing conversations with, uh, in the town square, the kids who were learning English in high school wanted to come up and talk with me and take selfies with me. And you just don't get that in the, city. the main cities. It was amazing. And then I, I was just walking around. I found a hotel to stay in. And the receptionist there, she spoke English and said, she said, oh, my, my partner, he's from Australia. I said, oh, I'm from Australia. Where, where's he from? And she said, oh, he's from Melbourne. I said, oh, I'm from Melbourne. <laughs> so her partner was from my home city, miles and miles and miles <laughs> away. And it was just one of the coincidental um, interactions that you can have when you get out of the city, go to the country towns. Would you like to say something more about that, love? Yeah, when you go to... Um um, away from a uh, city, like countryside, you can see a lot of people friendly and they like to talk with you and they like to show you what they're doing here. They're so friendly. When you stay mm. in the city too much, you can see a lot of scams. It's all the same. And every, every, every Asian city every is Asian the same. The same. When, mm. you, when you live in, in, the, in, just in the city, you just see a lot of scam people and then you feel like, oh, it's just people, tired. people like yeah. money, like that. If you go, uh, outside in the city like in the countryside you can see beautiful people you can see mm. a lot of the same different mm. in your country and it's beautiful you know yeah and the country people they're not trying to extract money from no. you all the time they just they like to show you yeah. what, what they're doing i remember sitting down having grilled chicken with this yeah. with this roadside um vendor and um i said oh hey can i sit down uh, next to you and have some chicken and <laughs> he, he had a shop just nearby and he was just sitting there and I, I bought him some chicken and we just chatted and then I got on the bus and I was on my way it was just a great experience he didn't ask me for money he just They're didn't, didn't try to sell me any souvenirs or anything uh, and it was just a great experience so <laughs> uh, look again going back to to the romantic side if you're mm. looking for a um, partner just get out of the cities and jump on a bus don't, don't care where it takes you just jump on a bus and get off at the, at the next town and then go one more town and, and get, get into the culture. Um, learn a few words, learn how to say hello, goodbye, thank you. Um, and it's going to get you a long way. So, so yeah. Yeah. But better than just you stay in the city too much. You can see it's not relaxed in your mind. You just say, oh, people scan this, scan that, mm. you know. Mm. Just when you go, just let go outside, like countryside, a little bit. You can, you know, you can take tuk tuk, go around in the river, a little bit outside in the city. You can see a lot of people so friendly. You can see the children walking. You can see people do many things different than Western, than Australian, and amazing, you know. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer and show mine sure. as well. Um, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.